Shaman's Gate. This is what I've been working on in the last few months. And it's an essential key. One of the great gifts of all of this, of the art, of the story, is that when we think about a picture book saying that consider that the journey of the blossom, the story of the language and pictures, is where we turn now to what's called the shaman's gate. And I've used mirrors in the, the hieroglyph because the mirror of self-reflection has to do with including ourselves in the picture, finally realizing that we are the outcome of a great journey and that it is woven into our DNA. It is the fundamental building blocks of who we are, not simply as ourselves, but as human beings. We are the instrument. And that here in the hieroglyph, the human soul, as it has unfolded over the last 22 years now, each of the openings, each of the stories, like a key, begins to go deeper into the mystery that's being revealed here. And I realized that why this is so essential, why the shaman's gate is so essential, is it's challenging us, like theater, like immersive theater, to question what mindset do I need to put on in order to enter into this story? How do I suspend my disbelief? How do I allow my imagination to teach me? And that's what happens here, because any individual now that sees themselves in reflection is also wearing the heron's headdress, meaning the phoenix. You're not born into time. You're born into creation. You are whole and holy. So as you see your shaman, your shamanic self, meaning you're actually like a Maori, you're experiencing your ancestral truth that you didn't just arrive here. You are growing out of a living tree that you think of as yourself. And in that ancient tree, long, long ago, was the shaman, meaning the storyteller, the being that mediated between more than one world and gained access and wisdom through true relationship with the mystical and metaphysical, the qualities of consciousness that for us we have made quite literal and desired to have objects define reality, not the imagination, not the story the objects are telling. Well, the shamanic mind hears the story in the stone, allows the story to become a participant in our story of who and what we think we are. So as we put on the shaman's gate, as one stands here now, we'll begin to be reminded that we are the blossom, that we are the outcome, and that if we are going to enter the hieroglyph of the human soul, if we're going to finally return home to what is the knowledge that lives in me, how do I reconcile not simply my own life, but the whole story of the human journey, then I do have to stand at the shaman's gate. Because only my ancestor, only the totem pole, only that which actually contains a vision of a journey that began in the painted cave, meaning so very, very long ago, could say now, I will take you into this story, but I'll do it with pictures because I won't insist that you believe anything. I'll do it with imagination because that allows you to trust what is inside of you. And I'll do it with intimacy because whether you recognize it or not, the shamanic part of the self knows that it is a love relationship with the universe that defines who our heart and true nature of being human truly is. So as we enter the shaman's gate, we are reminded by our ancestors that we are those ancestors. They know this language because this is paint, environment, and storytelling. First language, first technology. Nothing is being done for us. We are putting ourselves back in the picture. We are being asked to embrace and allow for, even as in theater, not to believe, but to suspend our disbelief by putting on this shamanic headdress and entering then into the question of the blossom, the journey of the phoenix, the story of the ancestors, this great arc of consciousness that finally had to find its way home as art, as meaning, and as intimacy. And the shaman's gate reminds us, who else but yourself is the living tree? the ancestral depth that says, if you want to know who you are, don't keep looking in the mirror of time and self-reflection. 
look into the shamanic truth that you are the outcome of a living tradition, a great human journey that said to know ourselves finally, we will return to where we began and we will trust that the ancestors knew you'll take a great journey for a very long time and you'll finally come full circle. You'll come home to see that it is you, no one else, because anyone that looks here sees themselves. That's essential. The shaman's game. Hmm. <laughs>